In a society function, there are few male and female. If each one of them occupies one chair, then three persons will have no chair to sit down. So if we assume that total number of chairs at the function is NC, and if male occupies one chair each and female occupies one chair each, then the total number of people that are left are three people that have no chair to sit down. So can we say if we had three more, everybody will be sitting down? That means the number of chairs is three less than what it should be. Similarly, same number of chairs is true if two females sit on one chair. Two females sit on one chair. So let's take an example. Suppose there are 20 females. If there are 20 females and if two females sit on one chair, we would require only two chairs for them. So it means it's going to be halved. And each male sits on one chair. So if each man sits on one chair and then two females sit on one chair, so if total female is F, the total number of chairs required will be F by two and not two F. Then two chairs are left. Can we say we have two chairs in excess? Now there are two equations and three variables. Of course, we won't be able to solve, but let's see what they have asked us. Find the number of females present in the society function. So they are asking us to find the value of F, which can be solved because if we subtract two variables goes away. So we are left with F minus three is equal to F by two plus two, or F by two will be equal to three plus two, which is five, or we will have total number of females is equal to 10. C is our answer.